Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Maurice's Place. Now, for those of you who follow me on YouTube, you know that most of my videos are travel promotional. I've got some recipes and some cat videos. But tonight I have a new one for you. This is a math video. Now, what I'm going to show you tonight is how to find a perfect square without ever having to press the square button on the calculator. Now, for those of you who are not aware of what a perfect square is, 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 is a perfect square. 5 times 5 is 25, so 25 is a perfect square. Now, a prior video that you might have seen of mine on YouTube, I showed you how to find a perfect square by successive adding of odd numbers. Well, okay, but here's a new one. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to find a perfect square of any number by means of the nth term of a sequence. So let's sit back and look at that right now. Now, here's what happens here. What we have is this. If the number ends in 1, like the last digit, your tn is 1 squared plus 120n plus 100n times n minus 1. If it ends in 2, the last digit, tn is 2 squared plus 140n plus 100n times n minus 1. Now, if you keep looking at this right here, if it ends in 3, it's 3 squared plus 160n. The last is the same. If it ends in 4, same thing all the way up to 9. You can see that there? The same setup right there. Okay. All right. So that's essentially the formula. Now, let me explain. The n is the value in the tens. So if the number were, say, 74, the, the number ends in 4, but the n would be 7. So let's do some examples now. Well, folks, are you ready for some examples? Here goes. Now let's do a number ending in 1. Let's do 71. Okay, so that would mean it would be ending in 1, so n would be 7. So it would be 1 squared plus 7 times 120, that's 840, plus 100 times 7 times 6, that would be 4200 plus 840, that would be 5040 plus 1, and that is 5041, which is 71 squared. Now let's do a number ending in 2. Let's do 32, okay? So that means it would be T3, okay? So it would be 2 squared plus 3 times 4420, plus 3 times 2 times 100, 600, plus 420, plus 2, and yes, that is 1,024. Okay, so there you go, that's 32 squared. Now let's do a number ending in 3. Let's do 23. Okay, so that would be T2 ending in 3. So 3 squared, 9 plus 2 times 160, 320 plus 100 times 2, so 200 plus 320 is 520 plus 9, and that is, you guessed it, 529, which is 23 squared. Now let's do a number ending in 4. Let's do 34. Okay, so if it ends in 4, that means you have to put in this one here, be T3, so 16 plus 3 times 180, 540, plus 3 times 2, 600, plus 540 is 1140, plus 16, and you guessed it, that is 1156, 34 squared. Now let's do a number ending in 5. Let's do 25, okay? So for 25, that means you'd be T2 for this one here. And it would be 100, sorry, 200 times 2 plus 100 times 2, so 200 plus 400 plus 25, and you got it. That is 625. Okay, so that is 25 squared. Now, let's do an remaining of 6. Let's do 66. Okay, well, if it's 66, that means it would be T6 with 6, so it would be 36 plus 1320 plus 4200. So 4200 plus 1320 is 4320 plus 36, that is 4356, and yes, that is 66 squared. Now let's do a number ending in seven. Let's do 27, okay? So it would be T2 for this one here, be seven squared, 49, plus two times two, 40, 480, plus 200, be 680, plus 49, and you guessed it, that is 729, which is 27 squared. Now let's do a number ending in eight. Let's do 28 squared. Let's say, okay, that means it would be 8, so it would be T2, okay, and it would be 8 squared plus 260 times 2, that would be 520 plus 64, would be 584 plus 100 times 2 times 1, that's 784, and you guessed it, folks, that is 28 squared. Let's do one more. Let's do 19, ending in a 9. Okay, so if it ends in a 9, that would be T1, so 9 squared is 81 plus 280 times 1, that's just 280, so 361 plus 0, and that's it, folks. That's 19 squared, it is 361. 
Okay, there folks, so we've shown a nice easy way to find a perfect square as the term of a sequence, the nth term of a sequence. Now, we hope you enjoy this. If you did, why not subscribe to my channel and maybe make some comments in my comment sections because I have the super thanks and the benefit of me and quite a few other people. Have a good evening.